Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm JD and today I wanted to talk about my books that I'm reading this year as well as my reading goals for 2024. Um, I have not read as many books as I had wanted to read over the last month but I did get some reading done and I was able to finish three books um, reading wise. Anyway, I have, um, I guess first let's talk about my reading goals for 2024. Um, so my reading goals for 2024 are broken down by month and I'd really like to read one craft book a month, one self-improvement book a month, and then two to three fiction books a month. Now this month, um, this past month, the month of January, I did not finish a craft book. I started like two of the two or three of them and I just did not did not get them done. <laughs> and that's okay. I'm still I'm gonna ease into this challenge, I think. Um so um no craft book recommendation this month. I did read a self-improvement book this month and that was Wintering the Power of Rest and Retreat in Difficult Times by Katherine May. And I really loved this story, this like, almost, I guess it was almost like a memoir or um, a kind of reflections, nonfiction book. And there was just some of the stories that the author was sharing within this nonfiction book really resonated with kind of what I've been going through in my life. And I just felt really connected with it, I guess. And it really helped. Um, one of my favorite quotes from this book was when everything is broken, everything is also up for grabs. Um, and that was from page, uh, 121 on the hardback. So it was a really good book. I highly recommend it. If you get a chance to pick it up. Um, I know that as I was reading this book, I found, a couple of other books by Catherine May on Pinterest. And so I will definitely be picking those up in the future as well. Um, <clears throat> in, I read two fiction books this past month and uh, I started a couple other ones, but I'm just going to focus on the ones that I completed. Um, and the first one was the, A Conversation in Blood by Paul S. Kemp. And this particular story, it's the third, this particular book is a third of a series that Nix and Edgel series or Edgel and Nix series um, by Paul S. Kemp. I think I said that, but I'll say it again. And I really enjoyed this whole series. And I really, really hope there's more Edgel and Nix. Um, so much so I, and I enjoyed it so much that I have the eye of Ebenor from the story <laughs> tattooed on my arm. Um, but that's also kind of a family thing. Um, but it was just really cool to s read that book, that third book of theirs and see where the eye of Ebenor comes from and the the getting a glimpse into that story um and just kind of getting to go on an adventure with Nix and Ed Jolligan I like I just love those characters it's so much fun um the last book I finished in January 2024 is a book called The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz I found this book just to be very fast paced, engaging, I couldn't put it down kind of books. And I want to, um, in the few, <laughs> in the next few weeks, get together with some friends and discuss this book in a video for it to share with you guys. But this book was just very engaging. I don't normally like suspense thrillers. Um, but the slight supernatural twist as well as being paired with other writing 
um, being it being about writing writers on a writing retreat was just very engaging and I just I loved it I ate it up I read it in two days I couldn't put it down um, it was just very fast-paced very easy to read and I loved it I really did so those are the three books I finished in 2020 or in January last month. Um, I have also been reading um, a couple other books that I will be noting um, in this at the end of next month, at the end of this month, um, for February's reads, things like um, No Death, No Fear, No. Yeah, No Death, No Fear by Thich Nhat Hanh. I've been reading this book with my uh, Dharma study group, and I I read through it and finished it last year, um, but we've been working on it more. I've been talking through it with them more, and so I like will be talking. I will add it. I will be adding it to my 2024 reads again. Um, I will also probably finish uh, writing past dark as well so uh, lots of fun things in the works but I am I'm currently here in Boston uh, this week I go head home back home tomorrow that's why everything's a little different I'm in a hotel room today but um, yeah I thought it would be fun to talk about some of the books I'm reading and some of my reading goals um, I think overall, I would love to read about 25, about 75 books this year. I don't know if it's going to happen. I would also love to finish an A to Z challenge, but again, I don't know how I can do that. Um, but that's just kind of where I'm at for um, my reading goals for this year. So I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you next week. Peace, love, and happy writing, y'all. Bye.